All right, folks, it has begun. The Detroit Lions released Cameron Sutton. In this video, we're going to talk about the release, what it means. We're getting to what the Detroit Lions can do to better the roster with the release of Cam Sutton. Still don't know about the, the financial uh, cost of this release because it's such an odd situation. Can they recoup some of that money or are they going to be stuck with it? We're going to get into it right now. Let's get this thing going. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. Hit that notification bell, all that lovely stuff to make this channel get to 10,000 subscribers. That's what we're trying to do here. We are trying to get this thing going in the right direction for the football team. Well, Cam Sutton, yesterday we, we found out there's a warrant for his arrest, and the Lions finally released him. It was only about 24 hours after. He is no longer Detroit Lion. Again, if you don't know, Cam Sutton had a warrant for his arrest for domestic violence, domestic battery by strangulation. So that is terrible. It happened on March 7th. He has been gone. He fled. He's not answering his phone. He is on the run. The Detroit Lions had no other option besides releasing Cam Sutton. As soon as that happened, I kind of knew that the Detroit Lions are going to release him, and they finally have done so. This just comes 24 hours after the Hillsdale uh, County Sheriff's announced that via social media that there is a warrant for Sutton's arrest. He is wanted alleged domestic battery by strangulation. According to Dave Burkett on Wednesday morning, Sutton had not turned himself in. Despite the warrant being issued, the line signed Sutton last offseason, three-year, $33 million free agent deal in 2023, started all 17 games, and the Lions had all three playoff games. He he tallied six pass defenses, one interception, six to five tackles in the regular season. The Lions spent the offseason bolstering their secondary, struggling all last year. They traded for former Buccaneers Carlton Davis, sign Raiders Amik Robertson, too likely to compete for the starting job with Emmanuel Mosey, who re-signed when your deal last month. Wednesday, the Lions released a statement. A statement, we will come aware of the ongoing legal situation involving Cam Sutton this morning. We continue to monitor the situation. We have no further comment this time. We have no update. Sutton just straight up released him. So, what does this mean fiscally and for the Lions cap situation yet to be seen? When you release... You have the dead cap hit of $10.5 million. That is the dead cap hit for the release of Cam Sutton. Can they get that money back? We don't know, honestly, because this is such a different type of situation that, all honesty, it's really difficult to comprehend because it's so different. But if you go right now to over the cap, and that's where I'm at right now, the Detroit Lions lost that money. So they're at 26,691. They take that cap hit right here. It just did it. Cap number, guaranteed salary is 10.5. The cap number is 12.6. He has been released. Signing base salary, as you can see. Right now, he's, you know, the. The dead is zero, obviously, but this is because probably hasn't really fully been updated right now. But as you can see, Cam Sutton has been released by the Detroit Lions. So can they recoup it? I don't know. Hopefully they can. Hopefully they can get the recoup. Hopefully it's not something that is going to be troubling. We don't know officially yet. I'm hoping that that, that can be the case. We'll figure out. We'll find that out in the coming days, maybe hours, days, weeks, whatever, what they can do with that situation. And I do start, I do believe that with the Carlton Davis move, as well as the Meek Robertson move, that could have been a cover for the Cam Sutton. That could have been the reasons why we got more veterans. So maybe they don't get another veteran. I think it's still important that they potentially get one. I, I think they should. I think they should get another veteran like a Stephon Gilmore and maybe draft a guy. But if they feel that, these players are good enough, that could be a situation for them, and they just draft a young cornerback. That could be. We don't really know the situation of what they are what they have done. It'd be nice to know, but we don't know. 
about that. But just expect potentially, I'm not saying it's going to happen, I don't know, I was 50-50 on it, that they could go ahead and sign another corner to this football team and then draft one. Remember, you got you got about $8 million you've got to give for the rookies, the rookie class. We've got seven players. So just because the Detroit Lions have around the – $26.6 million. Remember that eight of that is probably going to go to the draft pick, so you're looking at $18 million. And they also got to sign their own players to long-term deals. We're talking about St. Brown and Ali McNeil. So keep that in mind if you're wanting them to go and get another a cornerback, what type they could use. But if they get that, if they recoup that money, they can. That They can for sure, but we don't know yet. So we have no idea. And it's hard to speculate. When it comes to Cam Sutton, first off, do you think the Lions did the right thing by releasing Cam Sutton? Let me know in the comments below right now. Uh, let me know if you think they did the right thing. I do. I think they did the right thing. You don't want something like this to hang over your franchise for a long period of time. You want to cut the losses and move on. It can drag. And especially with the situation with Cam Sutton, where he's on the run and he has no contact. It is so different from any other situation because, you know, Ray Rice didn't run, right? AB didn't run. AP didn't run. He's on the run. I don't know if anything like this has happened before. Even Hernandez didn't run. He was basically, like, monitored the whole time. So, but this is different, and I don't, we don't know. What's going on here? Personally, I don't I don't know about you guys. We have no idea. He could just be somewhere else here in, in the United States, but he's a multimillionaire and he has the ability to he probably had the ability to leave the country. And if if you're a multimillionaire in such a situation like this, that's probably what you would do, right? You would flee and and try to get a better life, but we honestly we have no idea. Um, so he has now been released by the Detroit Lions. And boy, oh boy, he's got a lot to explain when he has that time coming. He has a time coming again. Innocent until proven guilty. But but folks, we have to admit, it, it looks bad for Sutton. I know it, it's one of those innocent until proven guilty. But an, an innocent person doesn't run like this. Zero contact. <laughs> dropping the cell phone and everything. I mean, that is a guilty, what a guilty person does. It is. At some point, he's going to be found. He is a basically kind of like a celebrity, right? He's a known figure. He's a public figure. It is hard for a public figure to simply disappear like this. I mean, he could shave his head. He could do some things to make him look a little bit different, but you're a public figure, not the biggest public figure in the world, but he is a public figure. So the Lions have released this man from contract. And that's just the bottom line of what's happening here. So I think that the Lions made this, the smart move. I do. I think you had to release him. I think he had to be released because it's just something that we don't need to have with this Lions football team that over you especially a promising team like Detroit. Thankfully, in all honesty, now we're going to get to the play part. <laughs> he played really bad last year, so this is, I guess, a great excuse to release him because, in all honesty, he deserved to be released for this play. But they just couldn't do it because of the cap hit, the dead cap hit. So this is a great excuse to get rid of him because he played really bad last year. Just, he played horrendous. And so from a Lions talent perspective, you didn't lose much. You lost a person who understands the scheme and who is a veteran, but his play was subpar to say the best. It was it was awful last year. He was getting burned a lot. He was looking like Will Harris. Um it was it was looking bad and so you know, we're not losing a lot of talent. Let's keep it 100. But we still need to have that body in there to produce for the – because these guys that we got, they don't understand the scheme, you know. So they're, they're all going to be learning this stuff 
pretty much on the fly, right? Because they're all new to the team. So good release by the Detroit Lions. Hopefully they find him and he, he has to face the consequences of his actions. That's what we all do. Where you make you make a dumb decision like that, you got to you got to own up at some point. So, Cam, man, turn yourself in, bro. Turn yourself in. Do the right thing. Turn yourself in. Face your day in court. No need to hide. Turn yourself in, dude. You, you screwed up. You got to own up to your mistakes. We all own up to our mistakes. We make mistakes. You got to own up to it. You can't just continue to run. With that said, folks, adios.